So I'm back with Bordeaux, right bank 2007, and I'm here with Virginie de Valandreau, which is not a second wine, but it's another wine from Chateau Valandreau. Uh, I'd like to start with uh, just a few words, because I think that this is an estate which has been turning out more and more elegant wines over the years. A lot of people instantly think of garage wine or cult wines as something very extract, very oaky, with plenty of color. But I do think that these wines have a fair share of elegance and they, they do develop quite well. And in my mind, 2007 is probably the most elegant and um, vintage I tasted so far. Virginie is no exception. Uh, it's more delicate right now on the nose, showing much more uh, of those almost a red fruity character. We do get some wild berries and a hint of truffle and, and mineral and, and a very discreet oakiness, I would say. It's well con concealed beneath all that fruit. The palate shows a good juiciness with um, finely grained tannins. It shows a good length, very pleasant fruit. There's still just a touch of oak there in the background. A nice spicy finish quite accessible already. I mean, these are wines that really do benefit from aging. I would put this in the cellar for two more years, three more years, and then it would start to, to open up nicely. If you like to drink it early on, if you, you're a fetishist for youthful fruit, as I can be as well, uh, you put it in a decanter, uh, I mean, preferably an hour before, before serving it, and uh, I really do love this mineral character we get from saint Mignon with earthy flavors. I mean, potato puree with black truffle or, or something to accompany your, your breast chicken or cote would be very well. So uh, a very nice example from the garage.